Last week for Flat Earth Friday, we looked at the first five of 10 good reasons why the Earth isn't a spinning globe. It was really, really poor to be honest, but let it not be said that we do not finish what we've start here on Simon Dan. Today we're going to look at the second five reasons and I truly hope they're better than the first five. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a big thank you to the sponsors of this video, Delete Me. Now, did you know that your personal data is sold online by corporations called data brokers? Now, they collect huge amounts of personal identifiable information and package it all together to create profiles or listings with that information contained. And this leaves you at risk of having your identity stolen or your details being published online. Now, you have the right to stay private and protect your data, and this is where Delete Me comes in. Delete Me is a hands free subscription service service that will remove your personal information that's being sold online with the mission of removing custom information from search results. They believe in the right to own, manage and remove your personal information. Delete Me's privacy experts delete you from hundreds of data brokers all year long where you can get a privacy report every seven days, remove all of your personal data like phone numbers and addresses, etc. And they monitor sites and repeat removals if needed. Now I trust Delete Me myself to get all my data removed. All I had to do was submit my info for removal from search engines. The experts then find and remove your personal information and you then receive a detailed Delete Me report within seven days. Plus the scans and deletions happen all year round as they remove your personal information every three months. Now if you have a look at my private privacy dashboard here we can see that 775 listings have been reviewed from 47 data brokers and there were two data brokers with my info and it also shows you the uh, exposed data like your phone number your name family members and addresses for a dedicated 20% off all consumer plans visit joindeleteme.com slash simon20 and use the code simon20 or alternatively click the link in the description right back to today's video which as i said earlier is the second five reasons of 10 reasons why the earth is not a spinning globe from the YouTube channel Tomb of Illumination. So without further ado, we continue with reason number six. Here we go. Uh, why is there a celestial gap between the two sky rotations? How can there be this gap here? Well, they just can't explain it because they, they keep telling you there's no gap. <laughs> well, get out of camera, mate. Anyone can see it. There's two star rotations. You get the odd star coming through the middle there, but they're straight compared to the two rotations. Is that not a derivative of an earlier reason that we looked at last week? Yeah, we've already gone over this, Lindsay. Come on, buddy, have a think. The celestial sphere, of course, is an imaginary sphere with the Earth at its center. It depicts all the stars that we see here on Earth in a way that makes it easy to understand. Of course, in reality, all of these stars are at different distances to Earth, but this makes it simple to grasp. Because of Earth's rotation, the two separate halves of the celestial sphere appear to rotate, but because of perspective, they rotate in different directions depending on what hemisphere you are in. And of course, at the equator, they appear to travel in a straight line. Can't hide it. Get yourself a camera. Can't explain that on a flat ball. Um... I'm in a spinning ball. That's better. Point seven, please. Uh, why is the celestial gap we've done that? Why is the compass bearing direct between the tropics? Well, the camp, camp, this is a tropical gap, right? The compass bearing. Clear as mud. I hope he's going to expand on that. Well, the compass bearing is direct north to south because the magnetic field is built up on this capacitor plate, each side of the tropics, Capricorn and Cancer. The magnetic field of Earth does not cross, does not cross the tropics. What do you mean it doesn't cross the tropics? The Earth's magnetic field encompasses the entire Earth. It sort of has to cross them. Science knows that, but they're not telling you. All they tell you is it's so weak there it's so strong here at the poles, very weak here, so weak that we're not going to tell you that it doesn't actually cross. There's no magnetic field in there. 
Well, the field lines emanate from the poles, so it would be stronger there, wouldn't it? The magnetic, magnetic compass is only pointing direct north to south because of the build-up of the magnetic fields on either side. It's direct, dead straight, north to south. Otherwise, the, net, the, rest, of the, the rest of the Earth is curved, magnetic field curve lines. You follow a curved path. This is why we have gyros now, to avoid that curving journey. We can go direct if you set your gyro up. But between the tropics is direct north to south. From north to south, dead straight, across the tropics. Dead straight. But the rest of the field in the south goes like this. And the north, the opposite way, goes like that. Creates the bow. Oh, I see. So you're saying that compasses only work in this tropical gap because of the magnetic field and it's so strong either side of this gap. So what's causing the magnetic field then on a flat earth, Lindsay? Because we know how it's caused here in reality. That's a question for you. On to number eight, please. <sighs> Why is the cumbo done that? Why do planes and submarines not dip their noses when they roam the earth? Because the Earth is not the size of a potato. Because the Earth is flat. But see, these globe people will tell you, oh, it's doing it automatically because um, at the centre of your, at the centre of our spinning ball, it has a big iron core. So the submarine's just going to be travelling around like that, automatically. It's all due to gravity. Oh, okay. In that case, when the sub moves along the ocean floor, it'll be going like this with the contour of the ocean floor, does it? And an aeroplane would be flying like that too, up and down, up and over Dale is the saying, is it? The aeroplanes do that? The submarines do that? Honestly, they're still arguing this point. It's so easily debunkable. The Earth is massive. Moving on to number nine, please. Um, where are we up to? Why is there a whirlpool on the top of the spinning ball Earth? Is there? Have I missed something here? There's a whirlpool on top of Earth? Dear, oh dear. Okay, so up north we have a... Uh, a whirlpool. It's called the Buford Gaia. The what? What the heck's it doing up there on top of your top of the ball, spinning ball ball? It makes sense if it's in the centre of the earth. There's the vortex, and below the vortex you've got this suction where water is going down into the subterranean to flow under the out to the tropics under the earth. Drawn down, it, you've got the four winds creating the vortex up in the north there. Wouldn't that explain the, the vortex here as well? Sorry, am I being stupid here? I've never heard of this whirlpool and also I can't find any information on it online either. And at the North Pole there's pretty much a permanent slab of ice. No whirlpools. And the suction, the water being sucked down under the earth to be recycled back up and over again? What the heck would you have it up there like that for? What's that doing? Go research it people. No sense at all. Well, I don't even know if that's a thing, so let's move on to the final reason, shall we? Uh, number 10. Why do all myths, legends, ancient philosophy and religions all make sense and correlate to the flat earth model, including what the ancient Egyptians have left us? Well, they couldn't really tell that they were on a massive ball, could they? The Greeks figured out, though, around 2,000 years ago. Because it's a known fact. Earth is flat. And if you want to understand all this down here, you come to this channel and I explain it all. Yes, well, the less said about that, the better. And actually, there was one ancient civilization that used to think stars were little lamps on pieces of string managed by angels. Is that what the stars actually are, Lindsay? Actually, don't answer that. Well, there we go. Ten reasons why the Earth is not a spinning globe, and those second five reasons are possibly worse than the first five. 
I don't know how he's even managed that. But for now though, we're all done dusted for another Flat Earth Friday. Thank you so much for watching, it truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed today's video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We're on that march for half a million. I've been saying it for about a year, but we are on, mar on the march for half a million, about eight and a half thousand to go. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up too. Just enough time to once again thank Delete Me for sponsoring today's video. Remember, remember for a dedicated 20% off all consumer plans, visit joindeleteme.com slash Simon20 and use that code Simon20. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a cracking weekend and you'll all be absolutely delighted to hear that I'll be back on Tuesday with the return of Hans Wormhat. See you then. <laughs>